Majestic Major, a model aircraft project. This one is part six. Modifying my model engine test bed so that I can hold it in my workshop vise and test the OS FS60 engine. When I think about it, I really do not know why I didn't do this much earlier on in its life. I'm fitting three mahogany battens to the underside so I can clamp it in the vise. Actually, it's only two because one of them fell off whilst I was drilling the hole mainly due to marking the position of the hole exactly on the join of one of the battens, and as the PVA glue wasn't fully dry, it just fell off. Two of these mahogany battens will be more than strong enough. Here I'm putting the tank plate back on. The problem is, I do not have a tank. I did have a box of tanks, but when I moved house, I gave them to a friend of mine to sell on eBay. All is not lost, though. I've bought a new tank, which should be here in the next few days. I need to perform this engine test just to make sure that the engine does actually run. It's been sat in a box for many years and the two front bearings don't feel good. I can easily replace the front bearings, I won't even bother making a video about doing that. In order to test the engine, the first thing I need to do is fit a propeller. This is a 12x6 glass filled nylon prop. The number 12 refers to the length of the propeller and the 6 is the pitch. The next part of the job is to fasten the test bed into the vise. This test bed is now very securely held in the vise and it's going nowhere. I've squirted some fuel into the carburetor using a syringe. Here I'm attaching the glow clip which contains the battery and makes the glow plug glow. And now, not being entirely stupid, I'm using a piece of wood to flick the propeller. Years ago, when I used to fly radio controlled model aircraft very frequently, I used to receive quite a few prop cuts, but here I'm using a piece of wood. And then I thought it would be a good idea to use my electric starter. This is very encouraging. Even at low revs, the engine bursts into life. I'll try again. And one more time. This time I'm removing the glow clip, so the only thing that's making the glow plug glow is the repeated firing of the mixture in the cylinder. This is a bit of a surprise to me because the valve setting on the engine is anything but the right setting. These old engines perform much better when the valve setting is correct. I know, what about a bit of slow motion? First of all, half normal speed. and now even slower, a quarter of normal speed. At this speed it's easier to see how much play there is in the two bearings at the front. This is at 10% of the normal speed and you can really see the front bearing moving now. This is not a major issue, if it was a two-stroke it would be, but the crankcase doesn't have to be fully sealed, although I can't really see any oil leaking, but there's a lot of play in the bearings, they're far past their best. And it gives the engine a sort of vintage rattly sound, which is probably okay for this vintage style aircraft. There's nothing much wrong with this engine though, it's very responsive on the throttle and even with the incorrect valve setting it still idles very well. As the oil is mixed in with the fuel, like in a two-stroke engine, I purposely ran the engine rich, just to make sure that the internal parts of the engine got a really good coating of oil, because the engine was really dry. As I mentioned earlier, this engine has been in a box in a cupboard for many years. And that's about all I can say in this short video, I just wanted to check that the engine works ok, and indeed apart from the bearings it does. I'll just leave the engine running till the end of the video. So I'd just like to say, stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful.
please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.